basically on strip is what they call it when you take the parts apart that are pretty simple to do by hand in order to surface the weapon for use grease the parts that need greasing cleaning the parts that need cleaning um, whilst I
excuses. It has not been completely phased out. Modernized derivative variants of the M1911 are still in use by some units of the U.S. Army Special Forces, U.S. Navy, and U.S. Marine Corps, designed by John Browning. The M1911 is the best known of his designs to use the short recoil principle in its basic design. The pistol was widely copied, and this operating system rose to become the preeminent type of the 20th century and of nearly all modern centerfire pistols. It is popular with civilian shooters in competitive events such as USPSA, IDPA, International Practice Shooting Confederation and Bullseye Shooting. Compact variants are popular civilian concealed carry weapons because of the design's relatively slim width and the power of the dot .45 ACP cartridge. Maxim had designed a self-loading rifle in the 1880s, but was preoccupied with machine guns. Nevertheless, the application of his principle of using bullet energy to reload led to several self-loading pistols in 1896. The designs caught the attention of various militaries of which began programs to find a suitable one for their forces. In the U.S., such a program would lead to a formal test at the end of the 20th century. At the turn of the 20th century, I'm sorry, my reading abilities are lacking somewhat tonight. It's uh, not long after
Just 
areas of success for the cult was a test at the end of 1910, attended by its designer, John Browning. 6,000 rounds were fired from a single pistol over the course of two days. When the gun began to grow hot, it was simply immersed in water to cool it. The cult passed the gun. The cult gun passed with no reported malfunctions, while the savage designs had 37. Service history. Following its success in trials, the cult pistol gaining its designation M1911, model 1911. The director of civilian marksmanship began manufacture of M1911 pistols for members of the National Rifle Association in August 1912. Approximately 100 pistols stamped serial number were manufactured at Springfield Armory and by Colt. The M1911 was formally adopted by the Navy and Marine Corps in 1913. World War One. By the beginning of 1917, a total of 68,000 
most sought after. German forces also used captured M1911A1 pistols using the designation Pistol 660A. The M1911 and M1911 pistols were also Two pocket. 
US Air Force from 
is just insane how good it is. It looked like it was a professionally done job, and I am a professional. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, I didn't even use any super fine sandpaper. The sandpaper that I use in this video is like 250. with it. 